Code Playgrounds lets you play around with Swift without having to worry about the user interface or where this sits in the context of an app. It also lets you see the results of your code immediately without having to run it on the simulator or your device. In this video, we're going to quickly get acquainted with using Xcode Playgrounds. So if you haven't already, open up Xcode and select File, New, Playground. This takes you to a template screen and we're going to go with the basic blank template for iOS. You should see a basic playground appear with default code. You have an import of UI kit, one of the most uh, common frameworks in iOS and a simple string variable. A special feature of the playground on the right, you have what's called a result sidebar, which gives you the result of every line in the code. If you point at the result, you'll see two other icons there, which just give you visual representations of the result. The little eye icon pops it up in a quick look, and the other icon shows it in line with your code. And that'll stay there, or you can close it by selecting the button again. Now that line of code hasn't given us any more real information, but there are some more visual examples where quick look and show result can be more useful. Things such as color, images, displaying a UI control that's at a slider. And you can even set a URL and see the website in the quick look. Another cool thing you can do in the sidebar is see the results of a repeated line, such as in a for loop. So that's the sort of crazy stuff you can do in the results sidebar. As you can see, as we add to the playground, it is automatically compiling and running after every change you make. And as when you have a lot of complexity, like we do now with all of our show results, it can be a little bit sluggish. So you might decide to turn off automatic execution. If you do, click and hold on the play icon at the bottom left, and you can choose manually run. So now you won't see any results until you hit the play button. Of course, you can turn automatically run back on whenever you like. At the bottom, we have the console. You can open it and close it with the arrow at the bottom left. This is where you'll get any runtime messages, for example, or you can output to the console yourself with the print method. That's it for a lightning tour of playgrounds. In the next video, we're going to look at some more interesting features of Swift. This has been a sample from my video course, iOS Development with Swift. You can click here to learn more about the course. I've also written a book on iOS development. You can click here to learn more about that. I'm hoping to upload a sample video like this regularly. So if you're interested in iOS development and would like to see more videos like these, you might want to click below to subscribe. Bye.